Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on you guys? This is Joseph Conlon coming to you with your news and rumors video on Sunday, March 22nd, 2020. We got the news and rumors today on Sunday. Um, again, lots of news um, surrounding around this outbreak in the world of wrestling, it's changed, it's canceled shows, it's forced WrestleMania to be taped, which is today's main event topic. We're going to go over WrestleMania being taped, yes, for the first time ever. Not only is WrestleMania going to be held in front of nobody, not only is WrestleMania going to be two nights, but WrestleMania... It's going to be taped. We will go over why I hate that situation about WrestleMania being taped. And why it just kills the excitement of WrestleMania. So we'll go over that. We'll go over two matches that got canceled for WrestleMania. And AEW's Blood and Guts um, show has been postponed. So we'll go over those three rumors for today. I hope you all are staying safe in your houses, um, spending a lot of time with your family, because I know I am. I've actually tried to stay off my phone as much as possible. Besides Twitter and all that stuff, and like YouTube, I've tried to stay off my phone as much as possible, man spend a lot of time because you know this virus is really making an effect around the world and it's upsetting uh, people are panicking and sooner rather than later you know the United States is going to go on lockdown San Francisco has been on lockdown for two weeks Chicago's on lockdown Michigan's on lockdown New York is on lockdown um I have no idea. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully everything will be okay by the summer. Because I'm not trying to be on lockdown during the summer. That's... That's ass. Ugh. If you guys haven't already... I uploaded four videos this week. Yes, four videos for you guys talked about um, AEW uh, a the AEW Dynamite review on Wednesday night um, that was a great show in itself um, we had uh, me talking about Wrestlemania moving to the Performance Center um, Wrestlemania going two nights and the Smackdown review on Friday night so if you haven't go if you haven't checked out any of those videos yet if you checked out some you haven't checked out the other, make sure you guys go check them out. I would highly recommend um, that you go check them out. They're really good content for the channel. So, there's that. Let's start with the news and rumors. Let's first talk about AEW's Blood and Guts. It was announced Friday night that... Blood and Guts would be postponed. Um, let me. F I'm going to read the press release that AEW has sent out. Uh, so I'm only going to read like a few tweets. They sent out like seven tweets, but I'm only going to read a few. The following message is from AEW President and CEO Tony Khan. Our goal every week for the AEW Dynamite on TNT is to produce great shows for our fans, and I believe we do. We felt especially motivated to serve our audience this past Wednesday, given what the entire world is cop is is copping with, and hopefully we gave them a well-deserved escape during these trying times. Everyone at AEW is very proud of what we delivered and humbled by the response and the kind words we received from fans and partners throughout this world. Thank you. We plan. To continue answering that calling with live weekly shows every Wednesday night on TNT. 
but the time and circumstances are, aren't, are not right for the card we had planned next week for Blood and Guts. That sure will happen when the time is right, but what can you count on instead? This coming Wednesday night is a great live episode of AEW Dynamite featuring Chris Jericho confronting Broken Matt Hardy face-to-face for the first time ever. Good. I am all behind AEW postponing blood and guts because it's the right thing to do. That match, that match with the Elite and the Inner Circle does not does not deserve to be hap- uh, does not deserve to be in front of no audience. That match needs an audience. That match it's been built up like yeah it's just it needs an audience you can't do a big blood and guts match without an audience that's just gonna feel really weird and Tony Khan um he knew that I'm sure everyone else in AEW knew that Cody knew that the Bucks knew that Jericho knew that so they need to push this match back until everything gets better and good on AEW for doing that because at the end of the day, uh, that's the right decision. That show needs that show needs an audience. It really does. And, and when, they, when when hopefully everything gets back to being normal, and we get that match, that match is going to be outstanding. It's awesome how AEW. Did the right thing by canceling Blood and Guts and postponing it back. Yet, WWE can't cancel WrestleMania. How upsetting is that? It's very, very upsetting that WWE refuses to cancel WrestleMania instead of postponing it back to June 7th at Madison Square Garden. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But AEW did the right thing here by canceling Blood and Guts. And I can't wait for that show to happen. Who knows? Maybe it's going to happen July 22nd at Newark, New Jersey. And I saw that AEW is still selling tickets for that show. So maybe, just maybe, I got to make my way down to Newark, New Jersey alongside Eddie Mullins on July 22nd for Dynamite in Newark. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Two matches canceled for this year's WrestleMania. What are they? Well, they are matches that we don't look forward to. According to Pro Wrestling Sheet, this was on Thursday, I believe. It was announced that WWE with the Huge outbreak going on that this year the Andre the Giant Battle Royal and the Women's Battle Royal will not take place because they can't risk a superstar getting sick with that many bodies in the ring. It's good for us. It's good for the fans that WWE decided not to do the Battle Royals this year, number one, because they're worthless and they mean absolutely nothing at the end of the day. And two, it's just a waste. It's just, it's just an excuse for WWE to get everybody on the WrestleMania card. That, that's an excuse. Now, it might be good for us, and I'm glad that the Battle Royals are not happening because I hate them. I hate the Battle Royals. They mean nothing. But it sucks for the superstars. Because some of the superstars were, they don't get their WrestleMania paychecks now because they're not working WrestleMania. They don't have a match. Think of the superstars like Eric Young, No Way Jose, Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. You can throw Chad Gable in there, Apollo Crews, um, Ricochet. They don't get, heck, even Sheamus, even Sheamus, 
they don't get their WrestleMania paychecks because they don't they they can't work WrestleMania this year because there is no Andre the Giant Battle Royal, and it sucks. It sucks for them that they can't wrestle at WrestleMania this year because there's no Battle Royal. But I think it's the right decision, and same goes for the women. They can't wrestle at WrestleMania this year because there's no battle royal for them to do. Now, what what can you do with the superstars that are not participating in the battle royals? Put them out in the crowd and make them the audience. It's very simple. Copy what AEW did Wednesday night, okay? If WWE copied what AEW did and put wrestlers in the audience for WrestleMania, I would not have a problem with it. Why? Because that's what should happen. Having the wrestlers in the crowd is what should happen. WrestleMania cannot be silent. I just can't hear the pounding of the mat for however long the show's going to be each night. I just can't do it. I can't do it. It needs to. There needs to be. There needs to be life. There needs to be life. So you gotta put some. You gotta put the superstars in the crowd. You have to. That's. That's what I think, about uh, WWE canceling these battle royals. It's good for us, but it's not good for the superstars. But. Now is their chance to make the superstars the audience. Make the supersize the audience. And finally, your main event topic of the week. Or of this video, whatever you want to call it. WrestleMania will be taped on Wednesday, March 25th, and on Thursday, March 26th. That is this coming Wednesday. And this coming Thursday. Man. I. I I, I can't get behind this. I, I, I just can't. Get behind. Wrestlemania being taped. Especially. From the WWE. Because. The WWE. Are not good. With taped shows. Because. You can tell. When. Um, you can tell when WWE tapes their shows. You know? But the adjusting of the crowd. And, but even though there's no crowd. But. Man you can just tell. When things are taped. It's like all. Micromanaged and all that stuff. And now that Wrestlemania is being taped. They could go back and do the matches again. Like say for example, if WWE didn't like um if they didn't like the match between John Cena and Bray Wyatt, okay? They could be like, We gotta do it again. That was not good. I need it to be good. So they're gonna I think they're with this being taped, they're going to try everything in their power to make sure that this show is perfect. That's how I see things happening. And honestly, it sucks. I, it sucks that it's not going to be perfect, but it sucks that it's going to be taped. Because it kills the excitement for WrestleMania. Like, how many of you out there heard this rumor or heard the news that WrestleMania is going to be taped? And did your excitement levels go down? Because mine did. My excitement level went down. When I heard that WrestleMania was going to be taped. Because I don't like tape shows. Especially from WWE. Because you can tell when WWE does a taped WrestleMania. Now. Now. Will there be spoilers out there? I don't know. I hope not. But. Rest, uh, but WWE. Was taping Smackdown last night for March 27th and April 3rd. Okay? They taped Smackdown last night. And I did not hear any spoilers on Smackdown. So I don't know one thing that happened in the next two weeks of Smackdown. 
which is honestly a good thing. It's a good thing. It makes me think that there's not going to be spoilers for WrestleMania. But there could be some journalist out there who contacts WWE for spoilers. And he spreads spoilers. And then all of a sudden, people read spoilers of WrestleMania. And at that point, there's no point of watching WrestleMania. You know? There's spoilers that get out there. You know... There's no point of watching. And if there is spoilers that get out there, you know, I'm going to be pissed. And if I find you, I, I'm going to block you on Twitter. And I'm going to bury you first. And then block you. I hate spoilers. And this is, this is the reason why WWE should have postponed the show. Just like AEW postponed Blood and Guts. This shows at the end of the day that Vince McMahon only cares about himself. And he cares about the money. And Vince McMahon is selfish. Vince McMahon wants to be the only guy in the game. And that's facts. Vince McMahon wants to be... I, I said this... I said this Monday, I think... When, I th yeah, I, th I think I said this Monday, when I talked about WWE moving to the PC, Vince McMahon wants to be Jesus. Vince McMahon is trying to be Jesus. And here we go with another example again. They just can't postpone the show. They can't do what's right. It's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. And most of the, su most of the superstars... Wanted it to be postponed. That shows how much Vince McMahon didn't care about the superstar's opinion. He only cared about the top. Himself, Kevin Dunn, Fox, uh, NBC Universal, and his shareholders. It's the only people Vince cared about. It's true. I don't know, man. I have a feeling that this year's WrestleMania, out of any WrestleMania, could be one of the worst WrestleManias of all time. We got two weeks left. We got two weeks left. See what happens on Raw. See what happens on SmackDown. See, like, see how WrestleMania folds. But right now, it's not looking really that good. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so much for watching this News and Rumors video. If you haven't already, subscribe right here on the Big Fight Field channel. Lots of content coming up next week, just like this week. You got the Monday Night Raw review if there's any matches. If there's, like, not a lot of... If, there's, if nothing happens on Raw tomorrow night, I'm probably not going to do a review. But for now, I will probably do a review of Monday Night Raw. Got AEW Dynamite this coming Wednesday. NXT if they film any matches. If God forbid they don't film any matches, I'm gonna be pissed. Um, SmackDown, whatever. You, you know the drill. And then we got our WrestleMania coverage coming up in two weeks right here on the channel. Predictions. Um, we'll probably get Eddie on the channel, hopefully, and hopefully he doesn't uh, attack me. On Wrestlemania weekend. And we go through that issue again. We'll see. I'll probably have him here. For Wrestlemania. And. Before I go. I will be. On my good friends. DJ Storm's YouTube channel. On Wednesday. I'll be doing his Wrestlemania rundown. On Wednesday. April 1st. So, if you guys know who he is, um, make sure you go. Make sure you guys go subscribe to his channel, because you're not gonna want to miss the rundown that me and DJ Storms do for WrestleMania on Wednesday, April first. Getting out of here. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Monday Night Raw review. Have a good night. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Spend time with your family. I'll see you tomorrow.